Hi everyone. Uh, this is a uh, ME six seven five zero thermoelectric material. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little late. I was <laughs> working on the uh, homework. Uh, by the way, uh, today uh, I'm gonna go over. Uh, five uh, review and uh, uh, some homework. Uh, Professor? Yes. Will you be posting homework solutions? Yes, yes, I will. I will. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Stuck. I think uh, it's a good idea. First, uh, I announce the uh, homework and the quiz. <clears throat> So uh, let me first the uh, assigned homework. Uh, the first is a problem 5.9, and then derive equations in detail 576, and the problem 529, and the pro problem 531. Four problem is due uh, also uh, next week. Uh, I like to have a quiz. Okay, uh, this is a take-home quiz. So you have a plenty of time and think about it. Okay. Uh, So this is um, consider an optimum design of a thermoelectric electric device, a device, optimum design. So you have to think about the optimum design for a nu nuclear uh, diffusion reactor, whatever. <laughs> is uh, energy advisor, suppose. So where a sodium fluid at the temperature of 1800 K with the convection coefficient 80,000 watt per square meter K, uh, cold water fluid at the 300 K available. Assume overall fin efficiency 0 0.7, 450 square centimeter area of heat sink total area. 
and the Mangelis figure of Mary for material three. We can use it. And the thermal conductivity of a material is 0.3. Okay. Uh, then you have to design and provide a number of thermocouples. I think N element lengths E and uh, cross sectional area total heat transfer I think uh, total heat transfer no uh, I think I have to change um, I'm going to change it. Total power generation. Total power generation. Yeah. So, something like that. Uh, small electric efficiency. Resistance ratio. RL of R element. RL of operation. So only I'm going to change is uh, uh, total power gen instead of heat transfer. <laughs> I was uh, just, uh, I made up uh, a minute ago, so I made a mistake here. Yeah, I'm going to talk about this, uh, but the rest of it, you have to work on that. Okay. Um, Any question? And the quiz. Excuse me, Professor. Yes. So the quiz and the homework is due next week until like 7 p.m., right? Wednesday? Wednesday, February 1st. I think so. Yep. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. Yeah, I think the next week is February 1st. To today is the 25th. <clears throat> okay. Uh, any further question? Um, today I'm going to go over some review. And uh, I have a posted um, some supplementary uh, Plots. And this is uh, uh, something like uh, uh, last week, but uh, I modified. Uh, this is the same uh, for GT1. I just uh, put the GT3. Okay, optimal design. So you can use it. Uh, for two cases, GT1 and GT3 in the future. I told you, in the near future, uh, we might have a, a GT3 material available, maybe decade or two decade, I don't know. Then what would be a, a performance? Okay. So this is, um, today I'm going to talk about it. Um, a little bit uh, uh, challenging is design now. Which means uh, you have to figure out everything. Not only calculation, design means you have to think. So... Maybe um, one of the challenging work is, um, I think last time, dimensionless uh, K value. And K, uh, sorry, I have to change. Much better. 
and k a over l overall he think of talk about he transferred and uh, maybe uh, he think uh, total area so once we figure out the uh, n of k then also we figure out these we figure out these but still we don't know number of a summer couple we don't know area we don't know the leg lengths okay so that's a challenging um Suppose uh, this is a point three, I don't know, suppose. Then we have a number, this is available, this is available. Then question is how you can determine N A of K L. L. For A, this is A is element. So the module has a number of uh, uh, number of element okay uh, number of element so a and l approximately um, you try to figure out okay um, I think I can give a, uh, no no, it's a totally uh, you have to determine so suppose um, you know that you have to work on that changing L A and N combination all you have to combination you have to re reasonable uh, module of uh, uh, I think you have to think about module because n number of couples and a and l um, you can start with uh, some number of 10 or 30 I don't know and then what would be combination a and l or you can change uh, 20 10 and a combination L try to figure out the good number um, this is a little bit challenging I think uh, so far um, just the last uh, two lectures and you're gonna design nuclear reactor some electric module that's too much uh, well I like to see how to Okay, so so that is a challenging. Uh, others are, I think, uh, pretty easy. Um, suppose uh, you can calculate t infinity to no star. Star is t infinity one over t infinity two temperature. Then you can calculate the t star. And then you, you can figure out uh, all kind of uh, optimal, even including temperature. I didn't ask uh, you can you can compute the temperature, you can compute the voltage, you can compute the current, everything from this supplementary plot. That's a optimal. It's very interesting. So that's what we're going to discuss that today. <clears throat> um, okay, so the review today, I think you have uh, now uh, some knowledge yeah, generator. 
uh, material. Um, I told you GT is available for high temperature, thousands K. So it's available, you know, 2000 even available, I think. Um, and also room temperature. <clears throat> um, I have seen that the nuclear fusion reactor the problem is uh, more energy required than uh, input energy. In, in order to run, you need the energy, pump, cooling, all kind of uh, devices. If that is more than a generation, then it's a problem. Okay, that, that is right now we have a facing um, practical problem for nuclear fusion reactor um, over the world. Okay, so is a, a, a power generation uh, cooling is is a significant issue right now. <clears throat> Okay, let's uh, uh, quickly review the generator. Um, the, the most important, uh, yeah, uh, equations, uh, the, the potential uh, electric field. Um, this is uh, almost the same as a uh, voltage. Voltage gradient is uh, electric field. So electric voltage is related to the current and the resistance. So that's Ohm's law. But now we add the seabed effect. As long as we have temperature, then there is a there is an effect uh, of electric field voltage. Actually, that's what we talk about it. Okay. And that's the C back. Have we discussed the C? I think, uh, yeah, that was, I think from the beginning. So you can raise a question now. Um, yes, C back. We talk about voltage, voltage as long as we have a temperature or a temperature gradient okay so um, how many students 22 <clears throat> so that's the uh, voltage um, and uh, also um, if there's a current, there is a heat flow. That's a Peltier cooling or heating, it depends on. So the coefficient uh, is uh, the Thomson actually figure out the coefficient Thompson you get that so so that the Peltier it became again C back temperature because of uh, coefficient this is a tough work okay and today I'm gonna discuss a little bit more and, and then cooling heating so what is this meaning is whenever we have a current, electron is moving, current electron is moving, the electron carries energy. That's you may understand. Each electron has a kinetic energy or whatever vibration 
all kind of energy is transferred. That, that's what happened. So with the current, heat flow. Okay. Um, and the Thomson is interesting is uh, not only paired here, but what, when we have a current and temperature difference, look at that Thomson current, the temperature, this is totally different story. There is a heat flow, actually, whatever, wires, metals, there's heat flow, depend on the temperature. I think the temperature, um, uh, temperature, gradient, current, because the coefficient is, yeah, uh, uh, and then direction. So, um, uh, between uh, upper wire, low to high, I think a little bit, uh, Uh, temperature and X, uh, low to high, T, L, T, H. Would, would that the temperature gradient is a positive or negative? Answer. <clears throat> positive. Gradient is positive, yes. So, so um, uh, the gradient is is a this is is a gradient slope. This is a slope or, or gradient we call is positive. This is a positive and uh, uh, Current, current is flowing from here to here. So if, if this is the X direction, is that the current is, is uh, the vector? Um, so is it positive or negative? Uh, up one. <clears throat> Answer? Current flowing in this, this is a positive, positive or negative current? Negative. Negative, the opposite. So this is a positive. This is a negative. Usually, this is a positive. So, what would be total sign, plus or minus? Negative. Negative. Ah, it's something wrong. <laughs> What's wrong? <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> That's weird. I'm sorry. I'm a little confusing. This is negative, Thompson.
How about the lower one? Lower. Current is a positive. Temperature gradient is a positive. So the heat must be positive. So If we're looking at current that's flowing from positive to negative, then we must be looking at positive current, right? Because if we were, because actual like electrons are moving towards the positive terminal, so so current would have to be positive, right? Well, uh, I said that this is the direction of current. Usually that's, I mean, that's the direction of positive charge. Because the direction of negative charge would be the opposite direction because it's being repelled by the negative terminal and attracted by the positive terminal. So that, that, would, make, that would make your heat positive. I'm just saying that. So current is... In Negative. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, uh, I will answer this uh, next hour. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a little confused. Usually it should agree, but uh, right now um, I have a conflict. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Usually, it's in agreement with the sign convention, with the temperatures and current. Okay, let's move on. Sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, we have a Thomson heat and uh, a figure of merit. Um, Have a, a generator, and uh, uh, this is the most important. Okay? These two. So um, um, today I'm going to discuss that. But anyhow, the heat flow is something uh, Seebeck or Peltier, and and conduction. But uh, uh, we have a joule heating. So this is the uh, governing equation. So when we consider, yes, this is a module we call. And then um, each um, pose um, here. Uh, a little bit uh, we look at uh, there is a consist of uh, n type p type one couple one this is one couple and number of couple and uh, uh, this is conductor this is a conductor but this is a ceramic both so this and this is a ceramic, usually insulated. Okay, so that uh, is a, a, a commercial module. And then uh, for convenience, we just uh, um, ideally, ideally neglect, ideal just uh, uh, plate uh, hot and cold, but actually we have uh, this is actual. Okay. Um, now we have a, a joule heating, obviously, here. So that joule is a whatever current, whatever current, uh, there is a joule heating. So half, there's no direction. This is a, 
uh, irreversible. Half goes up, half goes down. That's why if you look at the energy equation, this is energy equation, half goes up against H. This is a Cbec or Peltier, and this is conduction. This is N number. That's the ideal equation. So I think uh, uh, here, the problem, most of uh, physics, chemistry, they use this concept, ideal. And engineers, we talk about the real chemistry, material science, or so. Then they what they say is a th, tc. What can you do? If it is variable, then complicate. So they assume constant. Temperature is a constant, no change. Then discuss. Yes, I understand. And then there is a load resistance. This is, we can apply, we can change. Question is how we can optimize the R over L. That is uh, answering later. So you understand basic. We like to understand the uh, uh, we, we call this is a load resistance. Uh, this is element resistance, whatever. So, load resistance. And uh, so we, we have a discussion, optimize even. So, problem. To me, I think this is, oh, oh yes, one, one second. Oh, where? So hard on there. Huh? Oh, how is double? <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> My wife is calling me. Um, so what was uh, important yeah yeah so um let me let me this is very important as engineers engine mechanical um so they don't care all they care is material okay alpha uh, rho and k because uh, Z, Z is alpha square rho k. So if higher Z, higher. That, that's they focusing on. But to me, this is something uh, impractical. Tc, Th, Tc, Th, constant. I cannot imagine wh where that kind of things happen. No, no, I, I cannot find it, the real, okay? So this is an impractical analysis. Uh, what the, we, can, we can construct the heat thing, upper and uh, Lower, you think, practically engineering. And then fluid flow, T, T infinity one, T infinity two, usually constant hot and cold fluid. But the never this, the junction temperature, THTC is constant, not happen impractical uh, as an engineering sense. That's why I developed optimal. Design. 
actually the the quiz number one is related to this you have to work on that i can move on chapter six but uh, um, since this is the last class i like to emphasize for engineering okay so you understand uh, what happening here something wrong in society okay that, that, that that's why only a few five percent out of a hundred percent uh in conference uh, engineering 95 is all science people okay is most more important i understand but still engineering is is important okay now what happened science still science um, uh, <clears throat> So we have equations and uh, first uh, we like to understand characteristic. So I had a difficulty and then normalize my idea. I normalized maximum and, and normalize. That's, that's a good idea, normalize. Okay. This is the one. So R change. Okay, so we found one is is a good for maximum, even good for efficiency. That is so people in science, even including NASA. I was shocked. Uh, JPL, I'm sorry. JPL is is the most uh, PhD design uh, for space exploration. Hundreds of PhD national. <clears throat> I saw their thermoelectric generator on Mars, what is the name of it? Opportunity, and there is another name, I forgot. Anyhow, there, there is a, um, um, you know, some for test, uh, there is a, a opportunity and a couple of, uh, uh, yeah, the, what was the name of uh, the uh, surface uh, vehicle? A any, I forgot. <laughs> uh, th there is a name for it. <clears throat> um, I'm getting old. You know, I forgot all the name of Well, anyway, yeah. So um, um, they use the uh, point is uh, one. I was shocked. They they should not use this in in their design. I will tell you it <clears throat> because of that. Okay, but this is only. Um, T H T C constant, then yes, true, but that's not what happened. Okay, I like to move on. Um, one thing uh, I think uh, uh, develop is material property. 
since I have a relationship, uh, even ideal, uh, maximum and the property, so that I inversely I was able to calculate the property from maximum value. That's the ideal. But uh, instead of ideal value, if we real value, it become real. It turns out. That's what we are uh, interesting. So still, uh, we able to calculate ideal equation using effective material property. Do you understand that? That that is a little hard to understand. Um, and then I compared uh, because there was a commercial product and uh, I was uh, able to um, maximum values from their product then I calculated effective and even I calculated the GT value um, they say uh, GT average about uh, one but actually is less than one because of uh, contact resistance um, Thompson effect and uh, heat losses, all kind of things. A and then uh, this is uh, recalculated. Mm. Now, when you compare to the, uh, the experiment, commercial product with the ideal, this is ideal equation with Effective material property. Do you understand? So it works. It works. Uh, we can predict whatever. Interesting. <clears throat> the, the intrinsic property, no way. Or even though you got from the NIST the intrinsic property, it is not working. About 30% error. Why? Because of we ideal equation neglected three assumptions. So even, but they don't provide, no one. I call them, or most of the company try to get the the, the intrinsic property, it is not working. So I gave up and then we developed from their work. Okay, so, so keep in mind, uh, there is a way we can predict module performance. But this is the same for cooler, now is a cooler, and heater, a generator. Cooler is uh, the same. Now is a cooler is instead of a uh, source is is a power, not not the <clears throat> temperature. Temperature is not the source. Even lower th, I, I change it because usually this is cold and hot. But power supply, current, current, and then heat flow. That's the heat flow, QC, QH. So driving is current now. It's the same, joule heating because of current. Same for uh, voltage, alpha. Same for conduction. Same thing happened, equation. So so we follow. The, this is uh, now major cooling. A little different sign because of different definition, whatever. Now, uh, again, I had to work on the maximum values. So this is, I think, a five, seven. That's why I'm sorry. The book is a five, seven, and six, I think so. 
this is old version of my ma manual. Uh, let me check. Yes, this is uh, equation 576. Um, a homework. I think one of homework derived. I like you practice. Uh, you you can follow. And, and uh, uh, one of the homework. Okay. And uh, and then once I have a maximum values, I was able to uh, calculate the COP instead of. Uh, Efficient. We, we're not using uh, efficiency for for refrigerator cooling. So COP, but the concept is the same. Refrigerator uh, output over input. So what is it? Input is power. Power, and then output is QC. So, so we come up with this. Uh, I got the maximum. We take a derivative. Uh, COPR uh, with respect to current, let it zero. I think I did it. Yeah, somehow. Yeah, I I got a lot of work, but <clears throat> so I have a. Uh, Another is, um, I think I have to mention, I have to really, you have to recognize. Um, and I look at um, all the handbooks and some very few books, they expression, all expression, ideal, whatever, in terms of T, C. That's a something weird. Um, TC is a variable, varying actually, I believe. But uh, some erroneous expression, TC. And then commercial product, they use TH is constant. TC is variable. So I follow the TH constant and then I found it. Look at that. TH is constant. Uh, you have to realize. So I change it. Everything in terms of TH is constant. TC is variable. And then I was able to uh, add. So delta T is TH, TC. But this is variable. T is constant. Okay, so delta T, uh, something like that. Okay, and uh, uh, I'm not gonna go because we discussed this. Um, when we look at the commercial product, this is a, a COP heat pump. Heat pump is a, um, I think, a, this is a first time my work, not any book. I developed, you know, okay, but it's useful, heat pump. <clears throat> How? See, still ideal, but again, with the effective, it can be real. But the point is characteristic of heat pump which means um, TH, heat pump, TC, and the power, and, and uh, am I right? Yes, something like that. So refrigerator, this is goal, but heat pump, QH, is goal. QC. Heating is goal. Sometimes it is very important. Um, so we need to heat the fluid 
in some application, very important. Uh, not only heating the room uh, winter, no, that's very basic. But um, uh, some area, nuclear fusion, uh, some thermal energy, TC, we like to move TH and then thermoelectric. So how, how to do it is heat pump. Uh, this is thermoelectric again, and then generate the electricity, generate electricity. So from low temperature to high, sometimes we need it, and then we can generate the electricity. Or in uh, California, um, there is an unstable uh, power generation, solar uh, power, solar cell, and uh, so, uh, the uh, wind turbine, all kind of uh, uh, yeah, uh, power generation. But the daytime and nighttime, the consumption is uh, so different. So daytime, too much energy generation. So they, California is a problem. Nighttime, they need the electricity. Daytime, they don't need, but they cannot stop solar cell and the wind. So the problem is uh, the excess energy, they have contract with Arizona free. I read the newspaper. Arizona, they need uh, electricity free from California. Not always, but the daytime or, or whatever, they, they, when they have excess. And uh, last year, so far free, they say, we need the money to transfer. <laughs> Even they have to pay for electricity, giving electricity and pay because the series, blackout series. So what is the technology need is uh, use electricity and, and daytime and nighttime generate electricity. That is a thermal electric, okay? So from cold to whatever, there's a lot of cold fluid and uh, change to high fluid temperature using electricity, power, power, electricity, daytime. And then nighttime, this uh, hot temperature generate electricity. But um, so far they could not find the effective way because my theory is a very recent development. They, they have a lack of information. I think we can do that, this one, something like this. So all kind of uh, energy transfer, we can use a heat pump. If anybody understand what I said, say yes. Yes, sir. More. Sir. Yeah. I think this is so important, students. <clears throat> oh, open my design. So, as I mentioned, the ideal is uh, too ideal. Then, is a there is a no way um, that characteristic directory can be used. It, it's a rough estimation, yes, but not not any engineering because of uh, no way uh, temperature is constant. So, what happened engineering? Like I told you, nuclear reactor is this. This is practically, yes, a thermoelectric 
generator and heat sink. If you need any information, chapter two, detail about heat sink. Anyhow, so the fluid one, usually high, fluid two, low, say, generator, so that we can generate electricity. Okay, same, look at that, current is generated, but the T, H, T1, T2 is not the constant. No, I don't know, question. The constant is, this is a constant. I think it, it makes sense. Nuclear reactor, the sodium, fluid temperature is uh, maybe constant about. The water, cold water is constant, not, not the junction temperature is constant. So I developed the optimal design for these. Simply apply heat sink. Eta H A. Okay. So what is a eta is um, fin overall. What is fin efficiency? And uh, H is a uh, convection coefficient. A is heat transfer, heat sink, uh, heat transfer area, area, total area. Okay, so uh, something is predictable, totally predictable, um, and then optimized. So this is the uh, uh, equations I used, I think uh, uh, it, the rate, anyhow. Um, so this is heat sink and between temperature and, and then this is a, a thermal electric and another heat sink and I, we know the current. So optimized uh, dimensionless. So first, NK is the most important dimensionless N A L K eta H2, A2, two side, one side, two side, at I. So we try to find NK. NH is the ratio. At the one, H1, A1, hot side, at the two, H2, A2. There is not much optimum, so it is one is good, same. Okay, hi, say, uh, I, I studied the effect of uh, uh, this, but not really optimized. And then the resistance ratio, RL over RE. And then T1, temperature, everything depend. Um, and then T infinity star is a dimensionless T infinity one, T infinity two. So one is higher, this usually greater than one because of, in order to generate, it should be greater than one. One is there is no temperature same, there's no generation. So it gotta be greater than one temperature. And then I define the Q1 star, dimensionless, is obviously Q1. And uh, I assume uh, the two side, 
cold side is known. Temperature is known. That's no problem, cold side. So if Q1 dimension list is high, whatever, which indicate the high uh, Q1. So Q2 is the same way. Power is the same. Power over eta 2, H2, A2, T infinity 2. So if we find power dimensionless, if you multiply this, you can get the real. It depends on the and the real. Yeah, even. So it's a trivial. Once I have an optimum, immediately you can calculate this. It depends on the design of heat sink and temperature given. So we come up with the two equation and the dimension is two temperature, one, two, three, four, five, everything same. But GT is a property, nothing optimized. T is an input, not, not optimized, given input. And H is uh, about one, nothing optimized. So it's a matter of NK and, and R over R. Even without the detail, I don't know, heat sink or detail, just the just ratio, and there is an optimum. It's amazing. Um, and then uh, once I have a temperature, I can calculate that Q1, Q2, even work. It's the first law. Q1, Q2, that must be work. Oh my. Even efficiency, Q1 is known, uh, work is known, efficiency. That's the amazing. How come efficiency is obtained? This is simple analysis. It's amazing, amazing. No detail, no heat sink. But still we can get the efficiency. Even current, once I have a temperature, if I have optimum, I can calculate the current. I can calculate the voltage. Everything I, I can get it. So now look at this is the result. Um, this is the result. So input T infinity. Then I, I, I have everything. Whatever input. I have everything, efficiency, power, and K. This is the result. Look at that. Even temperature, dimensionless, voltage, current. This is GT1. I, you have now GT3. GT3. Some difference depend on the T infinity. It's starting from two. If it is a six, it's a is a more than three. It's amazing. You remember that for for ideal, yes or no? Say yes. Yes, sir. 
I'm sorry, keep using NASA for Mars some electric generator design. They approximate to use one. Do you think it is correct? You can say immediately no. It is it's depend on the temperature. It depend on the GT in the future. It can be three, not the one. Even this technology, it's starting 1.5 here, 1.4. No, no matter what the value of T infinity, something wrong, okay? Um, <clears throat> I am really um, the people in this society look at this. I, I the problem is a. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not well, and I'm not gonna publish it. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna retire, and, and that's it. So this is just, uh, this plot is only this course, not anywhere, not anywhere. Uh, students, how, how do you think? In the future, I told you GT3 is possible in 10 years. Somebody say something. How important this? Or, or just uh, I'm just, uh, uh, you know, too excited and something wrong with the equa equation, do you think? That, that's really um, uh, the world, people watch this. Uh, online, free online video. I'm talking to Dean, Vice President, about uh, free online, I emphasize, uh, course, free online course, ME 6750. Actually, I'm, I'm not good in speaking English and generate a nice video, no, but they have to edit something, eliminate unnecessary things and important, and, and then they put on free online course forever at the WMU website. How do you think? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, that's my idea. <laughs> uh, and uh, the quiz, number one, I think you can do it. Okay. okay. Uh, the only uh, uh, you're struggling is NK, you, you got it about the point two. Or five. I, I don't know. You can look at it. And N, K. K is given. A, O, L. Eta 2, H2, A2. So this is known. K is known. Only matter of N A O L. You can work on that. So um, the L can be uh, uh, again. I will talk about. Okay, it, it's uh, less is more more uh, effective. Don't don't put the large one. 
if it is large, then you have to large, large. But if you less, then you, you have less. So you can save material, you can save material. Interesting. Save material, save material, number of. And then A, you have to work on that. A, L, I, I think some combination, it goes to 0.25. I think, uh, whatever. Do you understand? Um, previously, without the, the theory, optimal, I can see that it's very difficult to design the thermoelectric module without this knowledge, optimal ideas. Um, I think I'd like to have a break. Um, I have a headache right now. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm not well. I will be back in 10 minutes, okay? See you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> I'm back. So the this concept um, if you are very interested um, you can I think uh, maybe time for you to be familiar with the scientific writing. So you cannot just write the journal papers, um, but uh, go to some PhD and work with some professors, learn how to write the scientific um, journals, uh, relate to uh, thermoelectric and then you look back I suggest this and uh, writing uh, just the simple you know equations optimal design I have a papers you can refer to it and then this plot uh, GT1 and GT3 and uh, you have to use a uh, second author, um, me. You cannot just write. So you are going to be a first author, and second author is me, and then you can submit a good journal, very good journal. I think that they should accept it. This is new. I like to, to do it because uh, I cannot but uh, you can do it if you are interested in some, it's worse. Um, so one of you go to a PhD about thermoelectric. Um, most of students are material, but you can do both material and design, something like that, like me, okay? Today, um, is uh, design, but uh, next week we start material. So you will have some background material anyhow, uh, about uh, how many, three, about seven weeks, seven weeks, seven times, uh, we're gonna discuss material, okay? Today uh, I'm gonna summarize a little bit more and uh, let me see. We discussed that, that there's a lot, but um, uh, you listening? Yeah. I'm saying this is <laughs> how many students must have left? No, 22 is still there. Yeah, okay, thank you for staying with me. Um, okay, now let me continue. Is there any students do that uh, just to say yes, somebody? No, nobody. Go to PhD program, other school, and start and writing a paper about this. Say yes, somebody. Sure. Good. One more. Is there any more? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Good, good. So, uh, I hope somebody uh, can proceed. <laughs> Although I'm retiring, uh, uh, I'm not well, so I, I'm not going to write, but uh, somebody to do that. Uh, 
I think uh, this is worse to uh, society of thermoelectric science, not only so thermoelectric science, chemistry, kind of things. Yeah. Let me see what I'm, I'm almost done. Uh, here. Yeah, this one is a, a, a little high level of uh, um, th this is uh, Onsegar's work uh, is a way not, I think uh, earlier uh, 1930 20 or something um, the entropy generation can be expressed for um, uh, with no mass transfer. Uh, one term is mass transfer, so without the mass transfer, so this is thermodynamic entropy generation. So he developed, uh, uh, you don't have to know detail, um, in terms of arbitrary quantity. Wow, it was so smart. And uh, uh, arbitrary quantity x. Uh, I'm not going to detail, but um, um, it if it is uh, uh, optimum, maximum around uh, something like maximum. So slope is a very small slope, you know, around the maximum. So they are talking about. Uh, 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 very close to uh, maximum is a small value, then they can say that. And uh, uh, they developed um, the uh, uh, so once uh, uh, they have expression, then the coefficient this and this, uh, it should be equal. That is a day proved actually. Uh, it's about 30 pages. I, I read the original paper. Uh, it uh, was a long paper, but I, I just uh, summarized here. So we can use as long as, uh, uh, so what um, here we, um, electricity uh, in, in terms of J. And uh, uh, the problem was uh, we use the uh, Q is um, um, alpha I T minus K. We use the uh, temperature. So, but this was not uh, uh, known. So they had to, we know relationship uh, voltage and temperature. So they used the uh, arbitrary coefficient C1, C2, and then energy uh, diffusion equations for steady state and then energy generation. And uh, they developed uh, entropy generation as you see. And then uh, they used the Onsegar uh, reciprocal relation. So they try to express and then the recipro reciprocal expression. They found the C1. So C1 was that, uh, actually this, they found it. And the other one was nothing more than K. So it was proved. This is a, a proof. Uh, is a, it takes a, an hour to follow. If you're interested, you can do it. And then the entropy generation must be greater than zero. So it turns out the greater than zero. So it's a true. So uh, uh, later, uh, this is, uh, yeah, Thompson. So it, it's actually um, proved. Uh, th this is okay uh, by Thompson.
Okay, William Thompson. <clears throat> I think Professor Edinburgh in Scotland uh, proved. Uh, so the question is, uh, this was uh, uh, 1851, even before uh, electron is about 1890 electron. So even before electron, we, we found the uh, uh, thermal electric. The electron is a huge impact. iPhone, telephone, electron, thermodynamic, uh, the, the, you know, n-type, p-type, AI, computers, something like that. But question is, uh, the thermoelectric has a uh, trouble. Okay, although theoretically good, good. Uh, just the uh, energy conversion to electricity. But why is the trouble? I think that's uh, chapter six next week. We, we look at it, actually. I think I have some solution. Not, not the solution, I found the why. So it's very interesting, okay? Um, so we discuss that uh, next week, uh, anyhow. So a little bit uh, now, Thompson was a small, I, I just showed, important but small. Now contact resistance, uh, including now, look at that, ceramic, conductor, and, and modeled, you know, ceramic, uh, this is ceramic and electrical re contact resistance. And, and then I developed effect. I found uh, even including micro. And then I showed the uh, uh, model is good. Okay. I showed, and then I can discuss um, this is the one. Uh, this is, uh, uh, I discussed micro. Uh, macro is, is just a commercial product right now. Uh, this element size, one millimeter. And then um, interesting was uh, about 1.2 millimeter. Uh, they found it, commercial is good. The com I believe uh, uh, the TEC only, not TEZ, good, commercial good. I found these, they, they use the optimum, good. Commercial, good. But the still, um, when I look at the micro, um, here we show the uh, ideal because I can set the S equal zero, R equal zero is con no contact in the ideal. But commercial is nothing to do with the even type of uh, aluminum nitride, expensive uh, aluminum oxide is a, is a commercial right now. Nitride is expensive, but anything is very close to ideal. So aluminum nitride is good. I have no problem. Good commercial, everything is good. The problem is a uh, micro, it's one tenth, very small, one tenth element. It's about the 36 uh, couple, and this one is uh, and 36. Anyhow, the power is, uh, I think, uh, you have to understand is a discovery. No. I say a finding. So what is finding? Is about two. It's a small. Two watt power cooling. Cooling. We talk about the cooling. So one tenth is the same two watt. Cooling. That's what I found, but the, not the aluminum oxide. They have to change the aluminum nitride. Uh, is close to ideal. Anyhow, ideal is good uh, still. So it's about two. What happened? 
this is so weird about one tense the cooling is the same to what to what is it possible but the the leg length is going to be way 0.3 millimeter obviously this is small so small small um i don't know this, this is kind of a cooling uh, density is so high we can use this cooling some nuclear reactor i think uh, whatever or uh, heat pump heat pump uh, power density power is something efficiency is almost the same efficiency where is efficiency uh, uh, one efficiency is almost the same nothing to do with the cop we talk about the power density now is a big difference say yes if you don't, if you understand yes sir say yes yes sir Makes uh, sense. yes thank you thank you okay so this is a finding i'm telling you no one ever discussed <clears throat> oh generator Uh, I, I showed uh, some GM work. I'm sorry. <laughs> the people work hard, but it turns out uh, good. Uh, they had to fabricate it. This is the, they fabricated somewhere. And they have tested. It looks good. They don't know what's wrong, actually. They have a measurement, they have prediction, good, good. No way they can judge, no, no judge. It, 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 it's a good, looks good. Uh, the, they design was, a, the problem to me is this. Leg length was four millimeter they used. So I calculated, calculated, uh, you're familiar. Uh, this is a uh, uh, modeling and four millimeter, they, they got the eight watt. I got the eight watt, my calculation. They used the uh, aluminum oxide, okay, but a little bit, um, I use the uh, aluminum nitride, Eight, 80 watt here, 80 watt possible. They didn't know, they didn't know, but they have to reduce the leg length. I think uh, NK business um, is uh, so important. Um, I, I don't think they, they understand this, this optimum. So maybe um, the uh, NK um, and uh, what is the power? Uh, if this is uh, optimum, they didn't know this. So, so maybe here or here they designed, I, I don't know, I, I didn't check. Not, not optimum. So the arrangement, this was not really good optimum. Do you understand? That's what I'm talking about, first of all. And then second is leg length, four. So two problem, NK problem, and then leg length problem. Um, so it can, they didn't know they can increase the power. <clears throat> Look at that. If you look at uh, power, this is power. Efficiency, if you, it's a very small. This is a uh, ideal. The red is a uh, nitride. Is about seven percent. Uh, 
it's, a, it's a very about uh, less than 10%, no 10%, small decrease with the decreasing leg length. So not much loss of uh, efficiency with the decreasing. <clears throat> Say yes, if you understand. Or raise a question. No, say yes. 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 More. 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 Only two. <clears throat> yes. Yes, thank you very much. This is finding, I said, or discovery. So how many findings in here? <laughs> Oh my, you can publish it. <clears throat> I think that's all, if you were interested. I'm done. And homework, I'm going to post. Um, I'm going to post the homework after this. So we have a three, four uh, homework and the one quiz, everything due uh, next Wednesday, 7 p.m. So you have to manage your time. Um, any question? I'm done. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Yep. Bye bye. Thank you, Professor. Mm -hmm.